Termites may be small, but they are a big problem internationally, causing billions of dollars worth of damage each year. However, the chemicals traditionally used to deal with termites are coming under scrutiny for their potential effects on pest control professionals, homeowners and the environment. Australian biotechnology company BioProspect is developing a natural solution to the termite problem. Using a compound derived from the oil of the native Australian tree species Eremophila michelii, or false sandalwood. Testing of its termalone compound has shown no side effects on humans, animals or the environment and the company aims to have a regulatory submission ready for the Australian Pesticides and Veterinary Medicines Authority by September 2008. In the last video I talked about moving out of pure research and development and going into pre-commercialisation work. Well over the last six months we've achieved that. In particular, we've reached some very good milestones with our toxicity work, both mammalian toxicity and environmental tox. The work to date has shown very good results and we're very happy with that. Some examples of the key milestones that we've met over the past three to four months have been our bioassays. The work's been done with the CSIRO Timber Biosciences Group and the University of Western Sydney. The results showed that our product meets and in some cases exceeds the industry standard, particularly with timber treatment. So this was an exciting result to achieve. We'll be moving into co-formulation work with a suitable fungicide, which will allow us time to get into the field to do full-scale field studies. We'll also start our manufacturing study very soon, and this will allow us the opportunity to look at manufacturing systems, extraction systems, harvesting, and most importantly, we will establish the cost of the raw material. BioProspect is already working with farmers in southwest Queensland to secure supplies of Eremophila michelii. The tree grows in a belt from northwestern New South Wales through southwest Queensland and covers around 10% of Queensland's land area. For farmers like Duncan Banks, Eremophila michelii has the potential to become a new income stream. Well, we've been learning recently about getting different income streams off your property and that's where this project looks like it'll fit in that you know if you can get a, a system so that you're not only making money out of sheep and cattle or dry land farming but you've got another stream that comes in at times that you can um, pick up a bit of extra income out of the timber that's growing on your property at the same time you're not affecting what you're doing in fact you might even be improving your production off your core business of sheep or cattle that's where the project's going to fit in well, I think, in this area. This is a good sample simply because it's multi-stemmed. There's very high oil yield in trees like this. This was first cleared back in the late 60s, early 70s, and this is an, uh, an example of the regrowth you get from the tree. Extracting the unique aromophylline oil for the production of termalone requires logs to be chipped to an appropriate size prior to steam distillation. The oil extraction process has taken place in conjunction with researchers at Southern Cross University in Lismore. The Eremophila chemicals are unique because it contains an essential oil from an endemic Australian native plant that has uh, very good um, tomatoside properties. The most exciting aspect of this oil is its low toxicity uh, that we've experienced both low dermal and um, oral ingestion toxicity in mammals and this is certainly giving it uh, an edge in the marketplace so in one sense then that's its biggest asset that it is not introducing novel chemistries and things that have not been uh, in our environment for quite some time. Extensive testing at the University of Western Sydney and the CSIRO's Timber Biosciences Division in Melbourne has corroborated evidence of Termalone's minimal toxicity and proven its efficacy in termite control. We found that it's, and this is after about six years work, we found that it's highly effective both as uh, directly killing termites, um, this is what we call acute toxicity, but it's also extremely good as a repellent. So it can be used, for example, to impregnate wood uh, and to prevent attack by termites, but it can also be used as a barrier treatment, for example, in under houses. The pine blocks used in these trials were exposed to termites for six weeks. The termites had no other food source. The results showed the effectiveness of termalone with wood treated with 3% termalone suffering less damage than wood treated with the industry standard 0.02% permethrin. 
there's been extensive work done with Termalone and um, we can say that all the evidence is looking tremendous. Um, we're not finding any significant mammalian toxicity at all and there's been a lot of work done undertaken with what we call ecotoxicology that is looking at its impact on for example fish, uh, daphnia and other creatures in the soil. And we found there also that the toxicity is extremely low and certainly lower than many other pesticides that are currently on the market. By late 2009 our registration process should be approved. The Australian process is very rigorous and by means of that our entry into the American and Japanese markets should be easy. We estimate the market for termite control products internationally is approximately US $1 billion. By having Tumi Loan participate in this market it would be good for the company, the product and the environment as a whole.